Hello, and welcome to Too Stupid to Live, a podcast that reviews romance novels $5 and under. I'm your host, Becky Feldman, and my villain era is continuing. For those of you new to the pod, this month we've been reviewing books that deconstruct the fairy tale fantasy. These are stories where the traditionally grotesque monster stars as the beguiling love interest. And if you have listened to this podcast before, or if you've just listened to me talk for a minimum of five minutes before, you know that I am obsessed with Finley Fenn's Orc Sworn series. So it would be ridiculous not to cover an orc romance when I'm in my villain era. So today, we are reviewing Finley Fenn's short story offered by the Orc, which you can currently get for free if you sign up for Finley Fenn's newsletter. I can attest she sends an appropriate amount of emails, so it's not spammy. If you're interested in dipping a toe into Orc romance, I say sign up. And if you're ready to just dive in, I've included links to some of my favorite books in this series in today's show notes. So my guest today obviously had to be the complete opposites of villains. Nick Weiger and Mike Mitchell, hosts of Doughboys, are here today. I've known Nick and Mitch from my improv days, and I've been listening to the Doughboys podcast like before I even knew what a podcast was. It has accompanied me at every single shitty day job I've ever had or had to drive to, so this was a real treat for me. And another treat is that they let me use their studio to record this episode. So this is probably the best the podcast has ever sounded and will ever sound. So thank you to Emma Casey and HeadGum Studios for your time and like literal space. Now let's just get to the episode. And you might need a splash guard because we are talking a lot of fluids in this episode. Please enjoy this review of Offered by the Orc. All right, Mitch, Nick. Yes. Welcome to Too Stupid to Live, my podcast. We're very happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yes. Nick, welcome back. My, my, my pleasure. Um, I want to ask you, how has your life changed for the better since last appearing? Since I was slam dunked by love? Since you were slam dunked by love, yeah. You know, it's it's given, uh, look, there's a big part of, Mitch, and Mitch and I are both, uh, you know, big time <laughs> basketball fans, and a big part of your enthusiasm is not just the sport, but the people involved. And that certainly gave you perspective into a different side, the mm -hmm. idea of, uh, you know, the, the kind of torrid romances that happen on the hardwood. So I, I think in general, it's given me a new, new appreciation for the human side of the game. Oh. Yeah. Do you, so do you watch basketball? about differently now or i mean i'm sure you watch it a you, bit, with yeah. a tv <laughs> i was like these guys fucking and sucking what's going on because <laughs> that's how i watch yeah, it yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how i've always watched it i'm pretty sure that uh, you know they're basketball players that fucking suck yeah of sure. course yeah, yeah definitely Oh, in the book, are they fucking and sucking each other in the book? Uh, it's it's not more, in this one. No, this is this okay. is more. This is like a hetero romance. It's between a coach's daughter and a star player, if memory okay. serves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure basketball players are fucking and stuff. They are. They're doing oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're All doing the time. it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Podcasters, not as much. No, yeah. No, we just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mitch, I have to ask you, mm -hmm. before this book, have you ever read a romance novel before or skimmed through one? Well, no. I don't know <laughs> if I've ever read a romance novel, ever. I mean, yeah. like, I probably have, like – looked at like when my mom had some sort of a book like this back in the day I probably looked at it and was like what the fuck is this mm -hmm. but I never I mean especially look and I'm gonna say this how yeah. has my life changed for the better even though it's, I haven't been on since uh -huh. <laughs> there's a big question of would I read this book would I not read this book I read the book. Mitch read the book. I knew you'd read I the read book. the whole book, so I've completed the Mitch One Book Challenge, which Weiger <laughs> set for me. I've read a book this year. Um and so it, it's a uh, you know it was it was great to be back reading again. Yeah, it was sure. Very fun. Um, but no, I had never the the subject material. Honestly, nothing close to this. I feel like anytime someone has sent me anything like erotica like though it reminded me of it which i told you beforehand yeah. which we can get mm -hmm. into a little bit more yeah but. let's get into that um no i'm just kidding um <laughs> but i guess like, i kind of wanted to get your like kind of what was your opinion on romance and erotica just as an outsider looking in in a way um i think so much of me thought like well as a boy my perspective is like that's silly or gross you know like i didn't really probably understand sure. it mm -hmm. and then as an adult uh 
I don't know. Maybe I think it's silly, but also in a way that like, so is like, you know, like so is liking a S- Spider-Man movie. So, you right. Know, like, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a, an escape, and uh, I don't think there. And also, it is like. I mean, it really is very horny. <laughs> it's mean, super horny. This book is su- super it's, horny. It's, this book mm-hmm. is, I mean, this and this is more so than just a, a regular romance Correct. novel, I would guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely, it's compact, so it's like all the sex is in there. The story, not as much. Kind of abbreviated. I mean? yeah. And the sex, in, the sex in a normal romance novel is not like what happens here, right? Or, um, no, I feel okay. like there's like a whole range of sex levels you know of it's kind of like porn like if it's like oh if you can think of it it exists like someone has written something i shouldn't say silly either i don't think i don't think that romance novels are silly i just i just always i'm like it's just the idea of like when you when you get into a real relationship there are romantic moments and there's you know and there's sex Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah uh but there's like there's like just the idea of like laying in silky sheets and stuff like that. Like, a lot of that seems silly to me in some mm-hmm. ways. There's also, like, an element of... Uh, and, there are and, couple. There are people like that, though, right? Yeah, there are people like yeah, that. Yeah. What, like what? Like, <laughs> like, like lying silk sheets? Like, I mean, like, I have like a tenderly case. hold each other? Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like, 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 uh, like candle, candles and... Yeah, there are people into that shit. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, go, sorry, I didn't mean to... Interrupt. Oh, no, I was just going to say that I, I think this is the thing where, specifically with romance novels uh, the the it's not marketed towards you or towards me like there's sure. a real clear like gender bifurcation with uh with how, who these are sold to right i'm yeah. sure there's a male audience for these books or, or specifically a hetero male audience uh but i don't think there's i, I it's it's not the the main appeal of these sure yeah I, and, I, and i i feel like that that you know the the at least from my from my understanding that men tend to be more visual and that's mm-hmm. why male porno- pornography targeted towards men uh is like tends to be a little bit more you know visually oriented and graphic and explicit mm-hmm. and almost ma- it makes me feel bad in some ways because I'm like man the, like uh the romantic side of this like I feel like doesn't exist as much for, for like people who like when you're reading these books you're like I would love for that to happen to me. I would love to be mm-hmm. like, t- right. like pulled yeah. out by an orc or whatever, and then you're like, <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it, you know, it doesn't really happen too often in this life. Yeah, I like I feel like that. the orc in real life would be like, "What's up?" You know, you, <laughs> yeah, you suck. Yeah, real orc, a real orc would totally suck. I, I totally get what you're saying, and I feel like lately, like I've been talking to people who have to like actively be like, "This is a fantasy. This is not real life. It's fun to read." You yeah, know? I shouldn't be expecting. Yeah, it, yeah. You know I mean, it, but it it is. It, I mean, and then I'm also like. Well, is there something wrong? Maybe I should be getting some silk sheets. Maybe I should, you know what I mean? Maybe, yes. uh, maybe I need to They're hot over the summer. Like, you'll sweat through them. It's uncomfortable. But maybe I got to up that romance. I've never, mm. like, I, I mean, like, I've gone away with people and stuff like that, but it's just like, like, this is the cover of these novels. I'm like, that's like more sexual than I ever am. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like very, it's a, it's a lot, I feel like. Is, yeah, totally. Is there like a specific, like, gesture of romance? It could be like in film, because I know you're a film guy, but it could be in real life that kind of sticks with you. Mm, and oh, and from a movie? Yeah, or anything that is just like this melts my cold, cold heart. <laughs> oh man, that is. I mean, like so many movies, even movies I don't like. It's like I'll be like, like I'll end up tearing up at like a Marvel movie that I hate. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I think mm. movies get me pretty easy. But a moment that I like, a romantic movie I like in film. I mean, this one pops out of my head. But when Leo and uh, what's her name from The Departed? Um, uh, who's oh, the Vera Farmiga. V- Vera, yeah. Vera Farming- yeah, Farmiga. Yeah. When they go at it and Pink Floyd's uh, a comf- sexy scene. comfortably numb is playing. Yeah. I know I like Pink Floyd, but it is it is a sexy scene. So it's scene. more about the Pink Floyd. I mean, it's not all about the Pink yeah. Floyd, but that is like a scene that I'm like, damn, yeah, he's go for it, you two. Like, get after it. And I feel uh, a pretty unsexy song, too. I don't think I associate comfortably numb with, like, doing the nasty. Oh, no, not at all. No, yeah. it, was a, it was cool in that yeah. way. What, what's, what, are, what are some famous moments you, that you can think of from film? I mean, like, you know, look, Challengers is fresh in the in the mm-hmm. brain. That's a very, very steamy movie. But a lot of it also exists just with, like, like the attention. And and right. you're not really actually seeing without getting too much into spoiler country. It's not like there's, like, a lot of, like, explicit sex in that movie or anything like that. It's mm-hmm. more just about, like, the kind of, like, ooh, they're just – these. The, there's some sort of feelings going on here that are, that are semi-addressed, you know? Mm-hmm. So. I, I think that that element. I don't know. Like, I'm a big like 
I get when I've done those love language things, I think we've landed on kind of like acts of service. Mm -hmm. So for me, like a very romantic gesture is like, like, oh, here's like a meal I prepared that's like really like, you know, hey, this is really thoughtful and considered and the, like like that sort of thing, like kind of melts my butter. But um, I'm, you know, I, I think in general, like, uh, I, I, what I like about this this story and what I like about the romance fiction that I've read, uh, the, the limited amount that I've read, is that it does talk so much about, like, kind of the emotional interiority mm -hmm. of these characters versus, like, the porno I'm usually watching is just, like, here's just, like, naked <laughs> bodies just fucking <laughs> railing each other. You know yeah. what I mean? It's a lot more primal and... Uh, it, it feels a lot more like a, like it, this is this is just for the utility. This is like right. this is like fast food versus like um, you know a, a nice meal at a restaurant. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I mean, like even like in like you know like I'm trying to think of even like like 1940s movies where it's like, "Kiss me, you fool," or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, which I do like those movies, but I just yeah, don't. sure. I feel like I don't want, and I can't even think of, I could think of, like, Casablanca, and that's it. And that's but, like, like most... my favorite, most romantic moment ever is the end of The Apartment. Oh, When sure. he's like, I oh, love okay. you, and she's like, shut up and deal. And I'm like, my heart's melted. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like, you're saying I love you without saying I love you. I don't know. There's a moment. Han Solo, I love you. I, and then he says, it, I, I know. I know. That's a, you, Mitch, you know what? That's a better example. It's a better, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying that reminded me of yes. that why because I like that moment. It's, it's a good moment. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And uh, the thing along the along those lines is because you know I I read all the I've read all of Jane Austen's books and I, I really like them and those obviously I don't have like explicit you know fucking people getting it on but it, it does it is like a lot of like romantic tension and how these people feel about each other but my favorite Jane Austen book is Persuasion I believe that was her final book and the mm -hmm. end of that it's. Uh, it's it's a it's a similar sort of moment, but it's delivered in a letter. It's mm -hmm. like here's a letter that I see, and it's just like these are all my feelings, kind of spelled out for you. And like this thing has been unspoken the whole time, but here it is laid out. And we're not even in the same space, but you just like feel it from both sides. So. Uh, so profoundly it's it's really well done yeah i mean i do see similarities between that and the leonardo dicabrio vera farminga scene because they when they hook up i mean mm. they're on opposite sides not opposite sides but they're there's the stakes are very high because he's sure. like undercover she's his therapist yeah. you know you are like it is like is this gonna be it's nerve-wracking yeah for yeah. sure yeah no that's i mean it's it, like uh look I, I like it, but now I'm realizing, like, oh, maybe I don't even watch that many, like, roma like mm -hmm. romantic yeah. dramas or whatever. Right, right, right. Which yeah. they don't really – I mean, they do – it's 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 the way that movies have changed where you're like, whatever. You know, in the 40s, a movie like that would be like, it's a classic. And now it's like, oh, this is like a – like – it's like a movie made for women, or it's like targeted mm. towards women, or whatever. I've never seen The Notebook. I remember an ex wanted to watch mm. The Notebook with me very much, and mm -hmm. I never watched The Notebook. Yeah. Not my, I'm not a fan of The Notebook. Not your cup of tea, yeah, no, yeah. But no. but I'm saying like that felt like The Notebook. I'm like that is a movie not for me. Like right, when, right. when when I was seeing, and then like but compared to back in the day, I'd be like, yeah. oh whatever, any sort of Casablanca or whatever. Like, even even though it's the only one I can bring up, is like. That's a movie you're supposed to see, you know what I mean, as opposed sure. to something that's so targeted towards, like, uh, you know, the the to women. Yeah, the idea of like a rom like romance. I mean, this is just a more general issue with movies of just like adult drama kind of being a genre that used to exist, and this isn't a romance, but like a movie like Ordinary People used to be like this is a movie with with or Kramer vs Kramer. This is a movie with movie stars that's just about like a portion of of life, and it's not you know there's. Uh, and we're just gonna make put this in theaters, and it'll be a th it'll be a box office hit like that. That yeah. that kind of uh, has, has we've shifted away from that, unfortunately. It's a bummer, right? It's a bummer, yeah, because mm -hmm. that stuff is cool. Anyway, what I was gonna say is it, going back to what you were asking about romance fiction uh, is, and I think this is a thing Mitch was bringing up before the record. I feel like most of what I've consumed has been like erotic fanfic. Right. And a lot of that is very poorly written. <laughs> like, so that's a big part of it. Yeah. Like, I'm reading like Sonic the Hedgehog erotic nice. fanfic or like WWE erotic fanfic. Yeah. And it's really like just clunkily sort of put together. And that's part of its Wait, charm. What? The second one was WWE. I did yeah. see. I did, I've read some WWE fanfic. I remember. There's one I remember. I can't remember if I mentioned this on on your podcast before, Becky. But it was a. Uh, <laughs> it was a uh, Lita. Uh, you remember Lita? Of course. It was Lita uh, hooking up Team with Team Extreme, I believe. She yeah, was and I fun. don't. I don't remember who the who it was. Well, it, she dated my, Matt Hardy, and then I think it might have been Matt Hardy. It was like and, a Lita Matt Hardy fanfic or something like that. And then in reality, she actually. 
there was like an affair like she cheated on him with or edge and her cheated on, right on matt hardy i wasn't trying to put the blame wow, on lita scandal. because i also think that I'm like this. yeah it was, it was <laughs> and then the, also vince mcmahon who's oh as we know insane yes uh and a piece of shit put, turned it into a, like a storyline yeah and so oh, like wow, classic real, wrestling yeah. matt hardy was like probably losing his his mind that's legit but, real housewives it's like the legit the same thing that happens on real housewives yeah it's like they utilize like these scandals to and yeah. that, and that, yeah, it makes them go all go insane, basically. Exactly, yeah. um, but anyway, anyway, this this one, this particular fanfic stuck with me just because they included the specific of like Matt Hardy took out his hard five inch dick. So I was like, <laughs> wait a minute, you said you said on five inches? Where did you get five inches? It's I, like I might read this shit. I think it sounds pretty. <laughs> <free. laughs> that to me sounds more realistic now. Yeah, We're talking about like a, which like. There, there is some obviously this is this the what we write is fantasy mm -hmm. but um what are other what are old romantic movies all i said was casablanca which i don't even know if you yeah. would would you i mean it is romantic yeah, no, I think in so. some part, I think very but it's much not like so. a romantic i right. mean becky you cited the apartment so good it's a good yeah, example good. i mean i'm trying to think of others it's it's just it's a it's a a, a, a tough thing to my, my brain is struggling yeah, to summon right now. Yeah. yeah yeah it's yeah. hard it's, it's hard. hard it's hard come I, on I, leave I, us alone it's hard i'm stuck because like I don't know, like I'm like in my head, like what does five inches look like? Do you know what I mean? Like it's kind exactly of like, how do like that? See, it's like those kinds of things. But so yeah, describe what does that it look like? <laughs> <laughs> it's this crazy number. Uh, it's it's but it's like the kind of thing of like I just that that's what's interesting to me about the amateur authors. Like how do you settle on that detail? How right. do you just like where does that come from? I is have that an your idea? You. Of, yeah. He has a five inch dick. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. Like, you yeah. life. It's a self insert character. It's, it's yeah. fine. You know what? He, like a, most men in America, he has a five inch dick. <laughs> It's that, within it's within the meaty part of the bell curve, as they say. Yeah. That's like the the you know standard. I think the sort of average, range. quote unquote, is five point something. Just so you know. Uh huh. This is good to why know. Why are you telling? Why are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just letting. I'm just. I'm just letting, just, yeah. I'm just letting know Nick this. know that the, <laughs> the average <laughs> is five point something. Okay, I we all we all believe you. We all. <laughs> I'm just looking it up quickly. <laughs> okay, while you look it up, I will read a quick synopsis about the book that we reviewed. We reviewed "Offered by the Orc," which is a short story that takes place between books one and two of the Orc Sworn series by Finley Fenn. It is currently free if you sign up for Finley Fenn's newsletter on her website, finleyfenn.com. Okay, so here's a quick synopsis that I wrote five minutes ago. Um, okay. I, I have an answer, by the way. Just, just whenever whenever I have it, I have it prepped. Okay, okay, and what's the source on this? Um, <laughs> Mitch.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the answer? Because I'm dying to know. The average length of an erect penis mm -hmm. is between 5.1 and 5.5 inches. And is this globally oh. or in the in the United States? This looks like it's globally. Okay. Okay. Um, but this may be toward the lower end of the range due to volunteer bias. The average length of a flat speed is 3.61 inches, which seems long for, I mean, I guess that's more showers. The average girth, I mean, they, whatever. We're not going to get into it. The average yeah. girth really is 3.66. <laughs> and the average girth of uh, a rack penis is 4.59 inches. Um, uh, the study was based on uh, 100 Doughboys fans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Measuring girth is tricky because you gotta like yeah. get, a, get like a string and like wrap it around and then you unfurl the string yeah, and you measure you, the string. Yeah, that's kind of how you measure your waist yeah. a little bit. But mm -hmm. but I, the, the, what I've read about these sorts of things is yes, the self selection bias is a huge mm -hmm. issue because the kind of it's it's a different demographic, the kind of of hog haver who will volunteer <laughs> to have themselves be measured. You know what I mean? And then the other aspect yeah. is that in a clinical setting, you can't really say like, okay, we're gonna make you hard, and then we're gonna measure you. So it has to be like you you're gonna go get hard mm -hmm. and measure yourself, and then guys will tend to you know cheat up a little bit or round mm -hmm. up or whatever, or just measure incorrectly because they don't know like where do I go to the do I, do I push my like. Do I push my flesh in like all the way to my hip bone? Which I do think, I measure yes, my ball sack? Okay. You know, like yeah, people don't quite know how to to begin. I think you're supposed to stick the ruler in like a uh, stake into Dracula's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Just jam it in there. Jam don't it in think there. I didn't read something like about half. where that took place recently. It was like a Mothman romance. Whoa! Um, wow! Yeah, Wait. it's kind of like keeping me up at night. But she like he the way the Mothman dicks are, you can like stick stuff in the dick. Oh my god! Wow! And um, I mean they had a great time <laughs> <laughs> i was horrified i've never seen mothman prop 
prophecies. Have you seen that? Isn't no, that I the haven't. Denzel movie? No, I haven't. Yeah, seen I've it. never seen it either. Like I like didn't know it was a moth. Like I got the book before I knew it was Mothman. Mothman. Yeah. Like, I didn't know Mothman was like a cryptoid creature. Yeah. What is it? Is it the a cryptid? Yeah. yeah. Cryptid. cryptid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see, uh, you see, you watch the movie, and Denzel's like, "No, let's jam something in his dick." <laughs> 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 it's working. What the fuck? What is this movie. <laughs> You're kind of like, look at them and exploring and enjoying and connect. I was like yeah, really sure. happy for this human woman and this weird dick looking Mothman. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mothman, that. Oh, you know what I just, you know what I just remembered, a, a romantic sci-fi mm-hmm. is the Guillermo del Toro uh, Shape of Water. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, that, yeah. And this is also what I was thinking of. You should you should do the summary of the book because I'm I'm speaking too much here. But no, that... but I literally just talked about Shape of Water like in the last episode, so this is good because like everyone wishes they could fuck more on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Which I do, I do yeah. agree with you. I don't, and like it is like just having a hard time pulling romantic dramas or yeah. whatever uh, it, it is crazy to me that I'm like what what are ones and then so many of them I think of are quote unquote chick flicks right. as they say exactly which is not you know but also I think that's how they market them you mm-hmm. know what I mean but um, I never watched even Fifty Shades of Grey like the hornier ones yeah. or anything like mm-hmm. that I don't think but, they're a good example of like what the genre can be as sure. much as <laughs> like the orcs Shape of I mean? Water feels so much like what we I mean, like, feels a lot like what we read. And that's what I think I said to you beforehand, mm-hmm. that I was surprised that she didn't transform partially into an orc. Or, like, there was mm-hmm. a moment where she's like, there kind of is a moment where she's like, I saw him and he looked beautiful. Yep. But I was like, oh, is there going to be, like, some moment where, like, it, 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 which is maybe too, it made me too, like, normative or something of, like, I, like, the orc looked more like a, like a handsome man now, or like, mm-hmm. or I became orc-like. I thought there would be stuff like that, because any, any fan fiction I've read, there's like a lot of like, there's like, w- like whatever. And I don't read a lot of fan fiction. Yeah, sure. But stuff that's been sent to me, it's like, I t- like turned into a wolf right. as well, yeah, or right. something. Sorry, spitting everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I think people are like, oh, if you, you have to be the same species to love each other, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah like, there's oh, like, yeah. in Shape of Water, that does happen. It's like she sure, literally starts it. like yeah. breathing underwater mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. but I think part of the, and, and I, hey, like the, another great romance, Avatar, it's the same sort of thing. <laughs> it's the right? same it's thing. Like he, yeah. he has to, Jake Sully has to abandon his human form. But I think in this one, and I think this is part of it is, what I'm getting is it's it's partly appealing to I'm not. There's nothing wrong with me. Everyone's been telling me there's been something wrong with me. That's been my. my I've been self criticizing my yes. whole life. But you know what? The problem was that I was with the wrong person, or you know what? Or maybe just the men in my life are not like. Yes. You know, they're not good guys, mm-hmm. and there's That's actually a take someone from a different culture uh, with di- with a different value system who's going to appreciate me on my terms. Yes. You know. Yes. Yeah, so if yes. I was Finley Fenn's husband, I'd be like, Uh-oh. if I read that book, I'd be like, am I? not treating her very well mitch in the about the author page uh she says she has a beautiful orc husband yeah so. you piece of shit <laughs> he didn't read the about the author beforehand but she does, but she does. he didn't know finley fenn was a uh, was a lady i didn't read yeah. the, the about the author part was at the very end so i didn't read it on my kindle and then mitch said he did read it so i read it before we started recording oh, wow. there you go wow there's a lot of competition happening fucking here. bullshit <laughs> about the author. um okay wait let me read the synopsis first and yes, then please, i want to say something well, I'll say something first, and then I'll read the synopsis. By the think, way, is the synopsis also just a summary of yeah, the book? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, okay, I feel like there are a lot of women who are, like, realizing that, like, you know how in, like, Beauty and the Beast, like, in the end, he changes back into a human? Yes. And I think there's a lot of women realizing, like, he didn't have to change back. Yes, yeah. they think you know the Beast, I mean? they, think, they think Beast is hot. Exactly, and I'm yeah. one of them, those people, of just, yeah. like, Belle was, like, ready to do the beast. You know what yes. I mean? And and it's like, oh, I guess it's okay. It's like, oh, if you're a good person, then they'll be handsome. And it's like, what does handsome mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. With that hairy-ass dick of – the beast would have a big hairy – Way more than hog. five inches. Way more than five inches. <laughs> I, that, that is a good point that he, he – when he turns human, his his dick devolves. <laughs> I'm sure of it. It like, has to. I mean, if his – hands and claws do yeah, yeah I wonder. like you just like where's the shot of it like going in <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay cold shower yeah. effect yeah exactly yeah. okay synopsis <clears throat> okay 
Let the orcs come, as thick as summer moths round a candle. This is something the character of Gimli says in Lord of the Rings, but it was not in reference to the dare I say meet cute between Stella, a human woman, repressed by the benchmarks of society, and Silfast, a wandering goddess-fearing orc warrior. When Stella realizes she's astride an ancient altar dedicated to the goddess of Batul, I hope I said that right. Um, <laughs> Solfast's monstrous warmth fills every one of her empty chasms, including the one in her heart. <laughs> for Solfast, this may be a cleansing sacrifice he's aiding in, but for Stella, it's a rebirth. Did wow. you did you write that? I did write that. It's beautiful. You did so much nice work for this. Yeah, for this, really poetic. For the, it was you. great, and for this book. Oh, thank you. Which I don't know. I'm not even sure if this book deserves this such I, this nice I synopsis. I, well, I think it does. So I hold on a like second. I'm, I'm not saying that the book is bad. Yeah. I'm just saying that this is so well written. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, I will like if there's any romance authors out there who are like write a synopsis for my book, I will do it. I will find <laughs> the humanity of any sort of book. What was it? What was your thing about Lord of the Rings again? Can you? Oh, because uh, there's a line in Lord of the Rings where Gimli's like, "Let the orcs come." It's, Thick as summer moths around a candle, <laughs> which is not in because this is different kind of orc coming. Yeah, wait, wait, let's which, talk about it. Is, yeah. is it. is it also a different kind of orc? Because that was it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because like my understanding of orcs was like kind of like oh okay the, it's from like the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, but it is like kind of a different goblin, different beast, if you will. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think there's a there's a few different, uh, like, it, it's become just sort of a high fantasy staple. I actually don't know if a, a J.R.R. Tolkien is, is credited with inventing the orc. He's or if not, the orc, no, So the orc yeah. predates Tolkien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, like elf or dwarf or whatever, Tolkien, just kind of a staple. Huh? Is that how you say it? Tolkien? I don't Tolkien? know. Oh, I always said Tolkien. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, but not it, Tolkien, but... It's not Tolkien, yeah. No, that's yeah, a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, the, the, but like, it's kind of like a staple fantasy race, and I know it mostly from like role playing games. Right. And in fact, okay. my mm-hmm. my head canon, my image of the orc here is like a Baldur's Gate 3 orc, okay. because these are like big, burly dudes, and they've got like big, like underbites with like these exposed mm-hmm. teeth. Warcraft, maybe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. World, yeah. Honestly, yeah. World of Warcraft is that, mm-hmm. that that's a different sort of, like orc as well but they are kind of like both burly and bruising but there is an a latent attractiveness to them sure like there's yeah, some yeah. appeal to the character mm-hmm. and so that's kind of what i was envisioning here even though she right. was calling him ugly i think there was an element of what you were saying mitch of like that's just her brain trying to work through this weird attraction you know yeah because i think we're in a world where it's like there is propaganda against orcs right you know we're taught to think that they're ugly but it's like yeah. are they i feel like a lot of her descriptions besides all the stuff where there was good sex yeah is like how anyone i've been with romantically would describe me <laughs> <laughs> um uh i i have to think that some of this must like i'm trying to wonder if this book would exist without lord of the rings or mm. if or if it's like partially in, like you think it's a little bit inspired by, or do you think like no? The, the, I think very much so. I think I yeah. think this is look that that informs so much of the fantasy genre, the not romantic fantasy, but like, yeah. like fantasy in general. And it's it's the same way like like people like people sexualize anything. So yeah. there's no yeah. Pokemon porn parodies without Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like it's mm-hmm. the, the, this the, it had to have existed to lead to the porno. Um, it is a very different orc, though, like you were saying. Yeah. Yes, and the, yeah. and and Batul uh, is just a very funny. The altar of Batul. Yeah. Uh, there's it. there's the a lot goddess. of there's a lot of there's a lot of the stuff that gets repeated in the mm-hmm. whether it be Batul, like, you know, something specific, or yeah. like juices, or like yeah. disconcerting. There was like a few things that were like in the novel just used over and over again. Mm-hmm. But um, but it. Uh, I look. I, orc prick as one word. Orc, orc, orc they prick. They say prick a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like a wet heat or whatever. Yes, that yeah. was like that's, one oh, part of it. Oh, that's normal. Yeah. That's a normal. <laughs> one? Oh yeah, wet heat. That's like kind of saying the, the word the. <laughs> <laughs> We should address uh, midway through the episode. Yes. So Casey got us started uh, and then um, exited the studio, and Emma uh, mm-hmm. entered uh, with Jemmy. So Jemmy walked into the studio, oh, took a comfortable oh, spot, yeah. resting on uh, the uh, the rug. But yeah, Emma's joining mid discussion of us talking through this orc porno yeah. look. So I sorry. Don't mind. I am so excited to be here to hear all about this orc. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of its health a... properties. I'm so ready. The orc 
come. This wasn't I know, as I was coming. Sad. I, yeah, this yeah. wasn't as coming as it's I wanted as coming, it to be. Yeah. There's and, no that, come. Yeah. I'm out. No, there's tons, <laughs> no, there's tons of come. Don't worry. And um, they like kind of like you know like there is a point where it's like she's tasting it and he has that great moment where he's like, you think I'm ugly orc, but no, I taste so sweet. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it's like th- what a beautiful moment about humanity. His orc seed, I believe that they orc refer to seed. it as at one point. Yeah. Fill your empty belly. Oh Loved yeah, it. Jesus. Oh, he yeah, says, I forgot about I that. Bloom. Oh no, wait, when she blows him. She, yeah, when she yeah. sucks him off. See, yeah. I thought that the I thought the orc come would have some more tra- uh, transformative properties at right. some point. I, like, I, mean, I was, I was yeah. hoping for. I, was, I mean, like I guess. What I mean, the whole book is in, it's insane. A lot of it yes. is insane. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And there was a part in it I should just say I, that I was reading it and I was like, I was like, I was like, wait, is he like fucking her in the ass? Yes. Yeah. And then yeah, I was like, because I was because she talks about she's like, Lothar had only done this like uh, mm-hmm. like once before. Lothar or her, her husband. Yeah. And I and I was like, oh no he. Maybe she was a virgin, and then I was like, "Oh no, she he is fucking her in the ass." Yeah, mm-hmm. and then it happened again later with fingering her ass. Where I was like, "Wait, so now he's just fingering?" This seems like a de-escalation. I was like, "Oh, he's fingering her ass." Yeah, yeah. there's a there's a little bit of which is insane. There's a, there's a little insane. bit of yeah, it is insane. I mean, yes, this book is insane. This yeah. is an insane book. <laughs> now, now I just feel like very much like a uh, like a, you know like a like a like a Protestant. No, yeah, you, no, you don't no, want to. No. You, you, no. I, I get the idea no of not wanting to sound like a prude on a on a romance novel podcast. But yeah. what, what I will say in your defense, mm. I feel like this is one where I'm reading this. I'm like, just get the order right. You know what I mean? Because mm. like like here's my here's my yeah. big issue. I actually thought this book was pretty. Like I was like, oh, this is pretty. This is hot stuff. This is not what I normally you know would 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 ingest for for porno purposes. But I was like, this how is many, a pretty how hot. Many, how many times did you ingest? <laughs> Uh, you know, just a normal time. How many gallons? Or yeah. <laughs> like eleven times. You know. Okay. Good day. <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was. Uh, but then it gets to the part, and like I'm so my my prudishness is I'm so hygiene conscious. Right. Mm. Is that I was afraid he was going to go ass to mouth. He doesn't. Uh, yeah. But he goes ass to vag. That's which bad. Which I'm just like that. Mm-hmm. You got to take a shower. Like this is so unhygienic, unhygienic. You're gonna give this poor peasant woman a UTI. Yeah. Like, don't don't mess around with that. And you're stuff. gonna probably end up with a UTI yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, crazy. I that's something that I did think about, but I feel like let's say that like <laughs> UTIs don't exist in with orcs. That's the other thing. I yeah, had to like right. okay. because I do think it was like very interesting that like the final kind of like fucking was her pussy. Yeah. Like, because yeah. it's like I feel like oh, there's such like a a breeding kind of fetish in this. Do you know yes. what I mean? Right. Yes. Like, and it's like, oh, it, his seed inside her were supposed to create a child. Like, that, that is sacred. If anything yes. else is just like, let's have fun, babe. Like, <laughs> and he washes the scent of Lothar off of her yes. as well, right. which is an important part right. of this whole What did you think about that? Like, just like about the fact that the orc has such a strong sense of smell. I mean, it's very funny to me. I, it's almost like kind of a reveal in it. It was like, this is what the cleansing was all about. Yeah. yeah. To get the scent of Lothar off. And I was like, that's very funny. But also at the same time, I was thinking of this from Lothar's perspective, who comes back and is like, I took the shitty male's perspective, I guess. Right. Yeah. Who comes back and he's like, wait, she's gone and she's with some, or she's in the orc mountain. Yeah. Fucking this orc. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, but it sounds like he was a real piece of shit. That, that's the whole thing. Yeah. They, they make a point of saying, like, he's walking around everywhere. He doesn't pay attention to her. He's also, like, whoring. He's yeah, he's out. fucking he's in, around. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's, that's, I think, a big part of it. But uh, imagine being Lothar's friends and being like, dude, dude, it's, you? dude. Fucking orc. Yeah, an orc. That, well, that's a big thing in in the series because it's like <laughs> women will like there. There's another book. One of my favorite books in the series is when like one of the women like runs off to purposely be in, with an orc to purposely embarrass her husband. That's wow. You know, and then the orc is like, "I feel used," and and you're wow. just like, "Oh my god, you poor orc." Yeah. There, there's an well, you were talking about the the breeding fetish. So this <laughs> is a thing that I found interesting as a as a as a as a reader. And as a novice to this sort of thing is like, there's a lot of not just what like like bef- like prelude to the act, obviously, but also there's a there's a pretty extended coda where they're talking about like what this means, and like she's like worried like you just you're gonna impregnate me and then abandon me and then I'm gonna be on my own and be scared and isolated, and he's like, no, I will take care of you, I will treat you well, I will never hurt you, like mm-hmm. I, like is that an element? Is that there because this is part of a larger canon and this is setting up where these characters go, or is part of the purpose like is that also part of the fetish of like? 
oh, I want, I want like a, my, my, I'm married to this loser. I want a big, strong man who will take care of me, right. like who will satisfy yeah. me sexually, but also will provide for me, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's honestly, yes. Yeah. So I think both, I think it's a, it's a complicated answer, but because I think like there is this idea of like, you know, being, being, not being owned, yeah. but being dominated, yes, yes. you know, and that was, and that, that was like, there, it was like humi- humili- humiliation is one side of mm-hmm. it. And then, but more so domination for me from yeah. what yeah, I was he's, reading like that. He's taking total control. Cause I yes. think like when it comes to being dominated, the empowering part is, is the, someone saying, I'll let you dominate me. Yes. You're right. lucky to, to be dominating me, you know? Yeah. And, and I think like, so I do think that there's that, I do think that like, there's this like kind of animalistic breeding fetish of, like marking your territory yeah. um i think that like there's a common trope in romance called faded mates where you spit particularly in fantasy romance where it's like you have you already have your soulmate and through some magical thing like when you find your soulmate you know some magical thing will happen where that's your faded mate and that's yeah. kind of sort of in here yes i do feel like for this book in particular however i i think it's like kind of like this prop just knowing the other books i think it's like propaganda against everyone to be afraid of orcs because there's a war between the orcs and the men right yes. and so all these men are kind of spreading these like terrible rumors about the orcs like don't go near orc mountain because they'll like kidnap you and like rape you and you know you'll die having their babies and then like all of these women are learning like oh i was taught wrong and so i think it is mm-hmm. like this allegory <laughs> of like yeah. how like we are being told all of these lies to like kind of control our bodies and control right. our Choices. Sure. Yeah. No. I think I think and control so. who you, who's it acceptable, who can date acceptably, exactly. which is like a big like you know cultural thing. Like a lot of mm-hmm. cultures uh, are, are like that. Um. Uh, so okay. So the faded romance thing is another thing that I feel like is like it's it's it is definitely in there because she's drawn to this altar, right? She yes. goes to this altar. She takes off her clothes. She lies in the moonlight. She jacks off, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Why do I keep coming here to jack yeah. off?" Mm-hmm. And then which which she had done before too. That she does done it that all before. the time. It's her yeah. favorite thing. It's like the only time she feels free. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. then so she's there alone, but then it's the this orc is also drawn to this altar and so mm-hmm. it's kind of like she's drawn there because she's fated to be with this guy but yes yeah, to your point earlier when she first sees him he's a menace and she's terrified she thinks he's going to be killed you know she thinks he's going to be violated against her will mm-hmm. but like so mm-hmm. much of the first part is just him like calming her and reassuring mm-hmm. her that this is going to be you know a, a, I, I guess honestly a consensual act you know 100% yeah I do see like <laughs> I mean I know on the surface it looks like you know there is like kind of something a bit of a dubious consent there's like dub con kind of like nature to it which i get oh i don't which, know that that yeah. uh, little abbreviation oh dub con dub con means co- dubious consent yeah. and it basically i think it's in fan fiction as well but i think it means like in fiction it's when you don't necessarily see a character asking for consent from another character. Right. Or it doesn't seem as if they are doing that. And it's fine, and the character goes along with it. It can be triggering for some readers, obviously. So that's why people usually kind of like, are like, hey, just so you know, there's like Dubcon in this book. For sure, yeah. I think there's Mm -hmm. some of that here. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, like, I mean, it also plays so much into it. We were, I would talk to you a little bit about this beforehand, but like also so much of what I've, I've read in, you know, like whatever in fanfic or whatever stuff like stuff similar to this, where, where it just is like, like I shouldn't, but then I grabbed it, his mm-hmm. orc prick, and I yes, like, right. and I loved it. You know what I mean? Like there's that back and forth, and right. and 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 there's a lot of that with her here, where yeah. she's like, uh, then I just like said yes, give it to me, or like, or may punish I please me. you punish yeah. me or right. whatever. There's a lot of that stuff, but she, it seems at first that she is not. She's like. I'm not into this, or am I? You know what right, I mean? There is, yeah. like, a lot of that sure. in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, as far as just getting dominated, they, they they make so much. They make, like, a huge meal out of just her presenting herself to the moon. Yes. Which is so funny of, like, like her ass is up and, like, her legs spread wide. Beautiful. And On I'm, like, moss. cleansed to the moon. And it is mm-hmm. very yeah. – that was her very funny. Juices soaking the moss. Yeah. There <laughs> is – she has a lot of juices for a human woman. I she was does, yeah. quite – quite surprised as, as he, I mean and he has a lot of juices for man I mean it's yeah, there's it's, a lot of liquids going on and this is so even many. half of it yeah. you know this they have it seems like the orc has no refraction period because he's just no, like no, I think that's yeah that's <laughs> rule one with orcs that's too. a little that's a little fantasy <laughs> yeah. suspension of disbelief I'm just like okay 100%. that's just how their anatomy works yeah okay. yeah because if it was a Mitch orc like I'd be I would have been this story would be five pages I mean to be fair 
<laughs> I, you know what? I think it's all men, all male characters in romances. Their refractionary period is way too short. Like, yeah, I remember yeah. when I was reading it and then I started dating being very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just filled my belly with your seed. <laughs> yeah. Why do we have to watch Conan for 20 minutes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why are you falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to stick your finger up my butt. <laughs> I like that. It sounds like part of that was ro- like, uh, you just filled my belly with seed. It seems like that's not true. No, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you had one seed fall out. <laughs> It's usually not nearly as romantic as the as any of this. Yeah. But, no, no, but but yeah. uh but he the orc is really he's non he's kind of nonstop coming once he starts once the, once the orc comes start starts flowing. Yeah. It kind of mm-hmm. doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Yeah, and there's yeah. like pre come, there's come come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's like a lot all sorts of different Well, they make note yeah. of to like cuz he like puts come on her face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then puts it on her like butt or whatever. Yeah, or and this come. is part of like the act that they're doing. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But but then like then there is they do know at one point where it's like where they're like and I then like then he came like in the end in the final mm-hmm. act which you were saying which is a little out of order. Where he comes in, the orc comes inside the yeah. woman yes. is like a, and then you're like, okay, so there was that was like another release there, right. but they make such a big deal of of the because fu- oh, I because it is like this is like the moment where like they're there's it's sensual they yes. love each other yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. know there's gonna be there, like that's when you feel trust between them that's yeah. when you feel like okay there's yeah. nothing keeping them apart anymore can, can, I, she, can I ask it oh please finish I was just saying and she mm-hmm. she she gives in to becoming a a, a mountain a mountain or, wife yeah, 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 she's orc. Orc. yeah. Right. my life off, off our, orc mountain. our life is going to begin together but these characters also exist in the larger like orc verse of Finley Fen so it's like this yeah. is also their their origin story this is their like, origin story because like when you see them again like when you in the other books they're like a couple and they have a cute little son named Skull. Skull. You, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Because in this world, orcs orcs need like orcs are having an issue <laughs> with procreation where they mm. need human women to procreate. Like right. there's no female orcs in this world. You know, I know that there, there are, are fem- no female orcs in right. the world. Right. Oh, yeah. So I know that there are female orcs that exist in other kind of like can or you know, other stories yes, and games yeah. and things like that. But in this particular world, I think it's like it, it was like they kind of got started because these like evil elves were like you know just created orcs and just for some reason only men male orcs can come from like any type of procreation. I think that is Lord of the Rings too, right? Isn't there? Aren't yeah, there they're all male they're all male in oh, Lord okay. of the Rings, and and I think there's also like an element of like just kind of like you're basically we're not even treating you like like people. You're pack animals mm-hmm. where we've made you to work, you know, and yeah, so like yeah. and then everyone views them that way, but it's actually not true. There's a tenderness within them and like. They have, they want to be parents like anybody, but mm-hmm. yeah, that that's really interesting that that part of it is like because I was like, okay, so this she's gonna birth a half orc, yeah, or it'll be a full orc. I think it will be a full. It orc. will be a full okay. orc with Got the it. science. Yeah, I mean, because in, <laughs> yeah. in, in D and D it would be a half orc, right? But yeah. like this is like a, it's just a different rule set. I don't, yeah, I, from my understanding, it doesn't it, like they never like the books never say this is explicitly a half orc. I mean, yeah. they call it a babe or you know my orc. You know, like my son, my warrior son. So I just assume that, like, it just seems like, oh, it was a full on orc. Because all of these orc men, they all have moms. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they all have like complicated relationships with their moms mm. based on like, you know. Do they have a compl- complicated relationship? Uh, what's his name? Um, does uh, Silfast? Well, I don't know about Silfast's backstory, but in um the first one, his name is like Grimoire or something, and like his he, you know, like his mom was killed for like sleeping with an orc, and like he misses his mom, and he was like grew up with. Without that nurturing from That's sad. Mom. Oh, that is sad. What 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 is the name of the baby that uh that Sylphast and uh what's her name? Like Skull. Skull. Like you know skull. when Vikings cheers, like they go Skull. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's that. But do, do do we see him as an adult, or do we see the relationship with him and what the hell is her? What's her name? The, Stella. 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 Yeah, you see them as like uh, he. You see him as a baby, like crawling around. You know, like at the end of. Well, you do see it at the end of in the epilogue of book one. Yeah. And so this kind. So this story takes place like. Between the final chapter of book one and the epilogue of book one, if wow. that makes any sense. So yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question. Yes. Does what's his name? The husband come? Still, oh, Lothar. Lothar. Does Lothar come back? No. 
I have a feeling Lothar's dead in a ditch somewhere, personally. Yeah. yeah Lothar. Good riddance, I say. Y- me I, too. Was anyone else, did anyone else see the Mike Myers SNL sketch, <laughs> Lothar of the Hill yes, People? Yes, absolutely. All right. As soon as yeah. I read that, I was like, that's what I had in my head. Lothar, Lothar of, of the, the Hill, Hill People. people. Man. SNL used to have some weird sketches. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> I Just think, thinking yeah. of that sketch playing to, like, silence yeah. in 1991 or whatever. I was like, what's his theme song? <laughs> <laughs> um, were there... Fuck Lothar. Fuck Lothar. Yes. We don't like Seems Lothar. like a bad dude. He's a bad dude. He's a bad dude. And I think that's, like, kind of the thing. Like, they're all in... Like, all of these women are in terrible, terrible situations. And I, I think that there were moments where I kind of, like, really felt for Stella like she would say something like no one would care if I died and I was yeah. just like yeah oh, my it's heart a real bummer breaks. yeah that's yeah. what she, that's what she's saying like that's what her real fear is like I'm gonna die alone on this altar and no one's even gonna care and my husband's just gonna move on and mm-hmm. all my relatives are dead and you know yeah but, and he's finally like no you can we can be a family mm-hmm. you know and that's that's a big part of it yeah mm-hmm. I, I wonder I, I guess like this is just like I, I guess it's like probably a trope of this sort of fiction but it does feel like there's an element of Someone who was reading this who was, like, maybe in a bad marriage or something yeah. would just project themselves onto this. Of like, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my dream is I'd have this, this, this guy I wasn't expecting come out of nowhere and sweep me off my feet. Mm-hmm. You know? Which I was surprised that Finley found out saying gets along so well with her husband. She, got, <laughs> she found that orc. She married an orc. She married yeah. an orc. I mean, or orc. he just, like, wears an orc costume or something. Because <laughs> it's so weird. I was, like, thinking about this the other night. I was, like, like you know, the uh, – the, it. It's exciting for me to think about. Yeah. I mm-hmm. don't know if in the real world, if I were wandering through a forest and saw an orc, I would be like, fuck me now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for she, sure. She gets on board pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, with also like, it's also that sort of thing of like now hearing that orcs can like, you know, be shitty in that universe. Mm-hmm. It is funny to, to, to just be like. Like, no, I will treat you well. And she's yes. like, you don't even know my name. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty. It's a good look, point. The, the not knowing your name and, 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 and deciding to go off to Orc Mountain, it's a lot. It's a lot of commitment. It makes me Agreed. think Stella, I mean, this is the state that she was in, I guess. Mm-hmm. is that, you know, like she, there was no real love in her life. And this is, the, you know, this, this, this fleeting moment was was the the best thing she's ever had Mm -hmm. so it makes sense that she went but i was just like you're gonna really go to orc mountain stella what the fuck i i I like it because i feel like it kind of like broke the narrative of what we think like falling in love should be you know sure yeah (laughs) because like it is like kind of this thing like like this theme of cleansing i guess of like oh maybe sometimes like what you have to do to kind of like cleanse yourself whatever cleansing means because Mm. it's not like because i because i i think this is a good thing in terms of getting rid of the stigma of like sex is dirty and no sex means you're clean you know like whatever yeah, yeah, that means yeah, yeah. but i do think it's like oh if like in order for a transformation sometimes you have to do something incredibly grotesque only to discover that it's the best thing that's ever happened to you that's that is i like that i like it is it, i mean it's wild yeah um and a lot of the sh- descriptions are wild i was trying to think of like what the, the closest to orc mountain would be in our world and I think I settled on like UCB Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. Aww. <laughs> but you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's just the opposite though, because the orcs are like, po- like, good, powerful men. No, this is mm-hmm. like Lothar would be the the guy who's, who's coaching a herald team who you're dating. He's like, oh you god, go I gotta get fucking. I gotta stop living in the Hollywood Towers with Lothar. I gotta, <laughs> gotta get, gotta get to Orc, Orc to get me out of here. Well, it's interesting because in Orc Mountain, you know, in the other books, like it is a very <laughs> interesting place to say the very least. Sure. But it is like there's always like there's always a moment where like a woman like will walk into Orc Mountain, they'll be like, oh, this is like really way more civilized than I thought, and then the Orc is like, see, you've misjudged me, you know, and right. it's like understandable. There is also in <laughs> Orc Mountain which is not featured in this book whatsoever, is that they all fuck each other, too. Oh. Yeah. So until they until they find their fated mate, they are very open with their sexuality. There's no, like, prudishness. Like, they are just like, oh, we have these urges. So there is a very massive Ooh. sex den in, in Orc Mountain where everyone's just fucking. Yeah. And so that, that, like, is kind of like, oh, they're also, like, very open-minded and sex positive. Exactly. And that's maybe part of the part of the appeal as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was just, like, I was looking up for all the mentions of Orc Prick in my Kindle. <laughs> and the, it is, it, they do emphasize repeatedly how huge it is, yeah. which is a big part. Like, it's, 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 she's basically, like, 
she's how scared. am I going to handle this yeah. thing? She's scared, and he's mm-hmm. like, "You fear me, but your you fear my prick, but your uh, your womb is waiting." You mm-hmm. know, he's like kind of like, and I think a big part of it is, I, I don't know, like is. It, taking his huge, hard, hot cock into her heat or whatever. It's like it's like so much of it is about uh, just her being just like completely filled up. Yes, which is really especially when they're talking. Like it's 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 just like that's I guess the most graphic part of the book. The other thing is. There is a little bit of a mild vampirism, which yes, is part there of it. Why I wrote down Dracula shit. Yeah, there is Dracula shit. <laughs> <laughs> she, so he, he like, he's like, and this is while he's railing her, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. He leans in and he bites her neck, uh, like he turns her neck and and he and he bites into her, and then she, he's drinking her mm-hmm. blood while yeah. he's he's fucking railing her. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And she and it. she loves. She's it. into it. She's like, he's drinking me and mm-hmm. fucking me, and yeah. she loves it. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of biting in this world. I will say, I feel like I'm like, you should read the next book. Da, 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 da. But like there is a scene in the library in the orc where she is in the sex den and she bites the orc's dick and he bleeds and she drinks the blood. Wow. From Whoa. the side, like the side of the Stella orc's does dick. this? No, this okay. is, um, I forget her name, but she's the, li- she's a librarian. Yeah. <laughs> she becomes the orc, she becomes the librarian of Orc Mountain. <laughs> she she becomes, and does Good she, job. does she have a faded mate or does she just. Yes, she okay. has a faded mate and it's like the mm. person that, like it's usually like your faded mate is the one you can bite and drink blood. Like that's how uh, you know that you're faded mate in a way. I guess kind of like okay. with vampires yeah. in a way in some lores. So Stella and what the hell is his name again? Stilgar. Stilgar. So fast. So fast. I'm sorry. Stilgar's yeah. different. Stilgar's from Dune. Yeah. <laughs> they're all the so same. Fast. All, they're all like sound like Vikings. They you do. Know? So it's like yeah, they're all the same. So fast and Stella, they're faded mates. So he's not. Right. He's not gonna go fuck any other orcs. Right no. Now. Okay, from okay. now on. Okay. Right. But okay, here's the thing. In some mm. of the other books, there's an upcoming book this week out called The Widow and the Orcs. Okay. Ooh. And we are getting into thruple territory. Wow. Where orcs can have multiple mates and a woman, you know, and it's a and it's it's very much a thruple. It's not like, oh, I have we're in an open relationship, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. for sure. it's like we're, the three of us are in love with each other. Wow. Man, yeah. these ladies are probably walking around all fucking bow legged and I mean these They are in so <laughs> much pain. Uh, it's, it's insane. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, there's, like, just, like, when it's, like, three fingers, then four fingers, and you're, like, Jesus Christ. That's right. why I have to take my brain out of it, because I'm just, like, this. Oh. Is, I don't want to feel this pain. But what's more disgusting is that, like, because of the amount that orcs come in this book, like, they'll be, like, two days later, she was still dripping orc cum. Oh, yeah. my God. And I'm just, like, that sounds so uncomfortable. Yes. That's so, yeah. That's so gnarly. But the thing is, is that that's common for Orc Mountain. That's just like someone wearing a pair of pants, you know, down the street. Like this is like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're. So there's like trails of fucking orcs. Yeah, all over the yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, like, oh, I guess Stella was here or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, this is so. It's just like you. It's like kind of like, oh, these orcs do not have the same rules that we do, and it's yeah. like, like kind of mind blowing a little bit. Yeah, we can trace that slug trail back to her front door. <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's gross but it's but so you, you, gross. you and i should be roommates at orc university where like <laughs> everyone is just fucking and we're like keep it down <laughs> think like mario <laughs> the the yeah the, the so the thing okay the hygiene was one thing where mm-hmm. i kind of was like okay this is kind of like a little a, a bit of turn up the other thing is and 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 whatever i know people have their different kinks or whatever like it's gets pretty rough like he's it like does. slapping her a lot and yes. stuff and like so that's the stuff where i was like this is really that's like a little bit far for me you know he loves he, yeah. he, he loves those fat teats as he says yes oh. uh and and then yeah. he like he scratches up the fat teats as yeah well. he's like using his claws and stuff it's it's pretty it, it's pretty s&m the, yes the, the, yeah and I, I i was i was saying that thing before where she where she like positions herself to be cleansed by the goddess it is funny like she's like they describe her like holding her titties mm-hmm. and her nipples are like pointing up at the moon. <laughs> yeah. It is very, very, I mean. Her mouth's open like, and she's holding her asshole open. Yeah. Yes. Cheers. I was, I found beautiful. myself trying to so do that beautiful. as I was like sitting on the, <laughs> <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> Look, if we went to the Orc University, I know that I come home and you'd be drinking some blood from an Orc dick. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking drink! You would, you would, you would, you would, you would, you would get oh, it. This was left over the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> if you were orcs, would you drink your own cum? I mean, that like, like, would you do that? Like, I would drink you... orc cum now if it had yeah. some of these. Like you said, like if, like, if it was healthy. And it like, has like yeah. it has some like it has some like magical properties. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is kind I of like they are. Some. There yeah. is something we cool. Do it for a segment. Yeah. <laughs> 
And let me let me guess. Then let me tell you. Uh, I get it the hard way if you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't think I could. It sounded like. The, I don't know how big these, but I guess she's a human being. She got it in her mouth. Yeah, I think there's a there's an impossibility to it to some degree. It's like, hey, the, the, you know what? In, in fucking I'll, again, I'll go back to Baldur's Gate because they just played so much of that game, and it is a game with some like it gets very sexy and very horny. Mm-hmm. When you actually think through the logistics of it, uh, you know, a half orc probably could not have sex with a gnome. But they just sort of like whatever. They just sort of like gloss over that mm. that physical mismatch. And I think it's the same sort of thing here. There's supposed to, there's some sort of like magical element to it because yeah, she's not taking like this fucking dude's hey. like ten inch hog. Yeah. Sure, you know. yeah. Can, you know, you, you figure it out in different ways. You know I guess I mean? so. Yeah. 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 And and yeah. He, there's even parts when like again, it's it's very explicit when he's taught. She's taught like he's stretching her asshole with his big dick. It's like he's just kind of soaking it in there. He's not actually yeah. doing like it's gentle. like he's being very gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Very so, gentle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, he does. That was that yeah. was the stuff that did. Sorry, oh, that, go, that no, was the ahead. stuff that like when her like butthole was dripping and yeah. and loose and open. I was like, I don't know. If I don't. I, don't know if I, don't. I completely get it. Like it's yeah. not my cup of tea yeah. either. Yeah. But I think what I really liked about it is that he is checking in with her. Every yes, step for sure. It is, it, is, it, is, it is true. It, it is, is so true. disgusting. But then he's like, "Does my mate or whatever?" In his or orky voice, you know, of like, "Do you like the?" You know, yes, but it's like yeah. it's like kind of like it's not like asking for consent, but it is in this world, you know. Sure, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's making sure she's into it at every turn, mm-hmm. yeah. and yeah. she is into it despite herself. And exactly. he offers her out, except part of the taboo. I think at the beginning to offer her out, it means that he would have to kill her, which is yeah. complicated. But I mean, Orc has a has a trajectory too. He has a character journey as well of like, do I kill <laughs> yeah. a human? Sure, yes, <laughs> no, yes. I'll marry her. <laughs> Look. If he was at UCB, he wouldn't be the worst guy. No. <laughs> if that guy was at UCB, like he would be like every girl would be fawning over him. Yes, yeah. Like I want the orc. Uh, what, what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. Like, Silvest so, no, so, so isn't even that funny. It's like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's okay, yeah, sure, he gets all the girls, but dude, he's I've never seen him be funny in one yeah. scene. Yeah. I mean to be fair, I be like the one that's like oh you're 23 and you're already married and like in a good relationship you know what i mean right, he's sure. that improviser oh, i'm yeah. sorry so no one at ucb ever <laughs> yeah we're all just we're all just like oh man we missed our chances with so fast <laughs> <laughs> we all miss our chances <laughs> um okay i want to ask you guys like I, I think we talked about this a little bit, but, like, there's usually, like, a headline of the book, you know? Mm, like, kind of mm, just, like, a mm. one scene or one moment that kind of sticks out to you. Obviously, we have our um, our butt sex scene, which is yeah. insane. He smells her butt and then fucks. But for me, like, my headline moment was, like, the moment I knew that she could trust him was when he, like, takes apart her braid right before they mm, fuck. Mm, and mm, and mm. it doesn't get, like, and he knows how to do it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like he wasn't like, oh, my, it's in my claws. Like, he's just, like, he takes it apart. And then I was like, oh, she can trust him. I yeah. love that moment. And they kind of bookend that, too, with her putting her hand through his hair mm-hmm. at one point. Right. Yeah, I, I, that, I think that's a great moment. I, I mean, to me, I, I don't know if, if, if this is the same thing, but when they, obviously, when they do have, uh, you know, in, like vaginal intercourse, mm-hmm. and and like the and like she knows that he can trust him. Is that's a big moment for me in the book. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I will just say like I was the, I, we already talked about it, but like I was just how surprised I was by the the Dracula shit. Yeah. Um, to borrow Mitch's phrase. Oh yeah. Uh, and and also, but just how intimate it was and how yes. eroticized it was. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I didn't. Re- this is the part of this sort of fantasy genre that I just did not know was like a thing. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense when you think about it. But the moment where that he's talking about, and this this is like this is kind of another moment where was like his hands just like gracefully touching like her vagina yeah. basically and mm-hmm. like like just like like it, like it was soft and it was like sweet mm-hmm. to the touch after yeah. he had spanked her and stuff right. like that word. yeah, yeah cuz yeah he would he would he would alternate that kind of uh you know if he got a little rough, he'd be tender afterwards and make sure to give her a little aftercare, I exactly. guess. Uh, but yeah. there's there's also the the thing I was surprised by was I kept waiting for him to eat her out. And that it just doesn't doesn't happen. He just doesn't do that. And I'm like, do orcs not do that? Or is that they just do. not? They do yeah. do that. They're like, no, they're like DJ. They're the DJ Cal. Like yeah. They don't do it. They do it. <laughs> 
Michael Peggy's? Douglas? No, that's <laughs> not who does they're, it. They're he did too no, much. No, no, he did it too much. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah poor guy. All the, all the orcs have like throat cancer from yeah. oh from, from doing it too much. Every man Maybe. is somewhere on the spectrum from DJ Khaled to Michael Douglas. It's you just true. gotta find the sweet spot. The orcs are kind of, yeah. I yeah. mean, Let's like, I think say, the orcs I'm are a little in closer the to Khaled than Douglas. <laughs> 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 there was like, there, there is a scene in one of the books where it's like he's like, He's e- he's eating out the woman, and they all have like black tongue, like they talk in black tongue, which I think is referenced in Lord of the Rings. Okay, and um, so like they were like his tongue was like his large tongue was like snaking around in there, and I was like that feels like a snake in a vagina. And yeah, I don't, like this yeah. is like, very yeah. uncomfortable. So I'm like, for me personally, I was glad there was no like oral sex moment between for him going down on her, but that was just my own druthers. Yeah, I, I yeah you know. It would have been interesting to see what they did with it, but I was happy to not have, you know, the one two like especially because she points out like his sharp tooth. Oh, oh yeah, I, for- I always forget about the teeth that they're so sharp. Right, yeah, there's kind like a yeah. wolf teeth. They're described. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I was I was just I was waiting for it because I thought they're I they're that. doing everything else. I thought that was going to happen, but then I guess there's also like this is so much about. I think they're not all about domination, correct? Mm-hmm. This is specifically so much a domination fantasy yeah. that maybe that was part of it. It's you just were like, still I'm not doing anything to you. You're doing everything to me. You were still able to get off without this. Yeah, right? still getting off. Yeah, of course. Who isn't? Who isn't? I I I my my I mean I was of course. Yeah, Thank of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's all uh, I wanted. <laughs> you to read a book, but like more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> Once there was an orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like there, thank God. <laughs> thank God. I did not. Uh, I masturbated. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't just come to the orc. <laughs> it is filthy, and as filthy as we're being right now, the. The book is a, the book a is billion so times disgusting. It's error. so disgusting. It's grosser yeah. than every Doughboys episode. Yeah. It 100% is. It is so disgusting. It's so grotesque. But it, at the same time, for some reason, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever it's, read. It's, I kind of love it. It's yeah. life. I yeah. really enjoyed reading it. I think my headline moment is uh, uh, her wet heat dripping onto the moss. Uh, which yeah, we, mm-hmm. right, yeah. There we go. That's yeah, that's, that. you know that she's like, oh, she is turned on. It's leaving her to the moss. Yeah. There we go. Wags yeah. and I are going to hit up Alter of Batool after this. Yeah. <laughs> If any ladies are there, yeah. if any babes are there. An improv scene breaks out. It's a bunch of, bunch yeah. of improv guys. <laughs> Crazy eights at the altar of the tool. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, that, that, no, that's it. That's all I had to say. Okay. Well, I want to ask you guys, on your show, you obviously have your fork score. That's right. That's right. I'm going to ask you your orc score. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this Honestly. is great. I love it. Yeah. Um. No, but like honestly, like it, like out of like how much you enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. One out of uh, one out of five. We or do something. five. Yeah. You do five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go first. I, I would give this. I, I think this is a. Here, here's the thing. I will say it is a slim volume. It mm-hmm. is more like kind of like a long short story, short novella, where it's about sixty pages, right? So I think I just wanted a little bit more characterization. I want a little more character development. Yeah. I wanted a little bit more time with these characters talking to each other. I think the the all the the doing the nasty is is really raunchy and hot. Uh, some of the stuff's not for me, but I mm-hmm. think it's it's well written for what it is and feels very true very much ensconced in this fantasy world so i think i would go probably three and a half orcs i overall enjoyed it i think i just wanted a little bit something a little bit this felt more like a snack than a meal Mm -hmm. not not in the golden orc club yeah not quite in the golden (laughs) orc club um i uh I probably settle around. It would be very funny if, like, you know, this is my one book challenge, which I've now completed. Yeah. If I was just like, man, this is fucking great. And, like, are all books like that? Like, just yeah. like, I just, not like, reading. I but, secretly uh, was hoping for, but I'm just so glad you read it. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I did. I did enjoy a lot of it. I think that there, uh, besides the characterization, characterization stuff, which I agree with, and I would like to see some transformative come stuff, and mm-hmm. I, I would like to see. Yeah. I would like to see a little bit more magical stuff, personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, which I guess just in this world, there's not as there is some stuff with the orc seamen, but there's yeah. not as much as maybe I even want, anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I I enjoyed it. I think a lot of like the a lot of the sexual stuff could get repetitive sometimes, yeah. where, mm-hmm. which is the only which is like my only hit on it. Where I'm like, if you check out some, like where I'd just be reading it and be like zoning out on some of the stuff that was like 
like each chapter it would be like now we're like now he's mm-hmm. touching her again yes, and he's kind yeah. of grabbing her ass again yeah, and he's yeah. spreading her wide and then it would have like revisit that in the next chapter before yeah. he like escalated or you know took it up you know they heightened it in some sort right. of way some mm-hmm. double beats he's slapping her titties and pitching her nipples again like, yeah did that a couple of times already. they, did, yeah, they yeah. did that a couple of times already. look i liked it when they did it <laughs> No, uh, I, get it. it's a, it's, I think it's a pa- it's a pacing thing, you yeah. know, yeah. like having to spread it out, <laughs> yeah. spread it wide and out. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did like I was hoping when I saw that it was seven chapters. I mean, it's the longest thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> I was I was I was like I was like I was hoping that we got into like their lives after right. and some of that stuff too. And it really is like, besides the setup of her of uh, Stella walking to the altar and then after like then once the orc shows up and there's like you know a little bit of fear in the beginning but then after that it's just like you know like uh, what did you say five plus chapters of fucking yeah. yeah and it ends kind of just with fucking it ends with her just kind of smiling and agreeing to go off oh she wants to ha- she fuck again yeah, fuck again on the yeah. altar yeah. Again yeah. on the altar yeah. but like that's and it just, it just is that from 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 then on out which look if that's what you're looking for, this is 100%. You mm-hmm. should read it. And it is beautiful in many ways. I agree with that. Uh, and it is funny how it is, like, similar to a lot of other fiction, like, you know, like, like uh, kind of dirty stories or right. fiction like that. And I, But I I would say three and a half orcs. Why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm with you on three and a half orcs. Yeah. Which, uh, for an orc, three and a half is, I know, very small. <laughs> uh, but for most... It's not average. It's way below yeah. average. We should maybe put this on the orc scale, which would be like, three and a half would be like, what for them, like, yeah. eight and a half or yeah, something? But, yeah, yeah. For, for sure. Yeah, but okay. but yeah. but I but I I enjoyed it, and I did read it all, and I, and I, and I, had, a, I had a good time with it. Yeah. Was fun. Well, it means so much to me that you guys came on the show and read the book. We love it. I, for me, it's... Six out of five orcs. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you love you loved this one? I, I here's the thing. I love this one because of because I know the other books. Yeah, I sure. feel like if mm. you're a fan of this, this series and it's mm. just like you went you want just something quick to read like while you're like waiting for at the airport or something and you don't mind reading this stuff in public, I'd say yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. it's a good thesis. I think it's a good thesis of what the series is. And yeah. so yeah, uh, yeah, six out of six out of five. How, did, ma- how many of these have, books have you read? I have read um, four, five, five of them. I've five read five of them, okay. and I think there's nine, maybe Got nine it. or ten. Yeah. Did you read this in one sitting? Did you just this? I read in one sitting. Yeah. yeah. Did you do one sitting? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, I split it up into uh, I think like uh, twenty five. Uh, <laughs> no, I I did. I think I I did it in two 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 yeah. stretches. I I read That's half, funny. and then I read the other half. Mm-hmm. Um, I got high, which was nice. You got high. You I got to, high oh, this, yeah. yeah. Did I mention you have to be stoned while reading these books? <laughs> I was oh, not. Whoops. I feel like I feel like I. I mean, I do. I I'm, I'm OCD, but then I think another issue is that I have I I mean, like definitely have some sort of ADD. I know everyone yeah, uses sure, that yeah. an excuse, mm-hmm. but like of course I do. Um, and I can't. I always have to reread yep. passages, mm-hmm. which for normal, for people who read a lot, you still do that a little bit, I'm I sure. I mean, right? I have yeah. ADHD, and I think the thing that keeps me focused is because it's something I'm interested in. Sure, You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I feel like reading is a can be a hobby for everyone, you know? Like, I, I know that there are people who are like, oh, I'm a bookworm, I'm not a bookworm, but it's like, well, if you're reading about something you're interested in, you like reading. You, you are yeah. a bookworm, you know? Yeah, I think if I was high, though, that the rereading i would be rereading passages and then i probably wouldn't remember any of it <laughs> it's like my issue i like i like and this is not not a thing i do regularly and i think i've been doing more recently mm-hmm. um but i like i find it focuses me a little bit yeah. i kind of get a little mm-hmm. bit more locked in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. interesting yeah yeah I, there's, and, how high yeah. were you just a little bit and also just check with Marijuana. Yeah, <laughs> I did like no. ten milligrams. Yeah. So that's like crazy, right? That's like a fairly. That's for me. That's like that's like a good amount. But I'm a small person. Yeah. So. That's how I run my errands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were probably like uh, like incense peppermints were playing in your head while that, <laughs> which is good. I don't even do it at all anymore. So I think that's pretty good. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. This was truly, truly a dream come true for me. We we uh, we had a blast, and I loved it. You know what? Maybe I'll be looking up some. 
I know that there were some pictures drawn for this. I might... Oh, yeah, I'll show you some pictures. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. love to see some pictures. Do you have any of the pictures? Um, on her website, I can show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna put, uh, I wanna put faces to uh, to the characters, yeah. to Stellar okay. and whatever the hell his name is. I forgot again. I might be having a new lock screen. <laughs> If you like today's episode, consider leaving a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you didn't like it, why are you still here? For links to today's book, you can check out the show notes or the episode page at tstlpodcast.com. The amazing synopsis I wrote is also available on the episode page at tstlpodcast.com. Too Stupid to Live is part of the Frolic Podcast Network and Culture Media. Thank you so much for listening and have a great rest of your day. 